Okay, so I've made some changes to the frame. They're pretty dramatic, actually. The reason I made these changes, there's a product on the market now called an air spring. Um, they used to be a little bit uh, on the flimsy side, if I can say. These are a little bit more on the industrial side. They don't take up as much space. They actually hold a lot more pressure. And since I'm running big blocks in all my builds, these will raise the big block. Before, my frame used to look like this. I had the Z coming up in the front. Now my frame is going to come completely straight out. I'll show you why in the next series of films because I'm running a cantilever setup on my coil springs. I also have all the attachments that come with these springs, which are the air hoses that clip into the valves, the T fittings that divide the spring pressures between them. And if you want to come over here, I'm going to show you what I can do with these bags. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. These are the air springs. You can compress these right down to like what they call a pancake size. See it go all the way down. When I plug the hole, the air is holding in the bag. So the, this would be on the downside of the suspension. They, they can raise up slowly, which will raise, raise the rat rod properly to the height I want, because I can adjust these. But if I were to use a normal coil spring like these, I can't really compress them. I can't really raise them. You know, they are what they are, but there's no maneuverability with them. So I'm just gonna take these and then they're gone. And then for, and if I just use these, the car would bounce around like a grasshopper. So what I'm going to use is I got a set of nice high performance race shocks. I'm going to be using them in the front because they can lower quickly and they can raise quickly. They're not a gas shock, they're an oil shock. They were great for this. I'm also going to take a piece of race car technology as I always do in my car. This is a front axle off of a highly modified race car on a dirt track. This is a very strong piece. It's the front axle off of one. And I'm going to turn it sideways this way and use it as a track bar which will keep the front axle tracking properly with the frame. I'm also going to be building a fulcrum with these bags. Now that I've changed the frame design, the fulcrum will be here and you'll see that in my next series. So the next video, uh, keep focused because the body's going outside and we're concentrating on the frame alone. The frame's going to be totally exposed. You're going to see all the angles of cuts I've been doing. You're going to see all the little tricks I'm putting into it. Um, I'm actually excited and I can't wait just to get to the frame itself because once the frame is built, you know the build's halfway done. And I'm anxious to get her seeing what she's going to look like. <laughs>